Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone, hope you guys are all doing well, it's Oscar and we're back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that most people probably don't know um, as far as casinos and casino chips actually goes. Um, so again, we're going to be talking about TRKs, something that I'm very familiar with, something that I absolutely love like most people know. Um, but today, uh, today's kind of question in hand is the King's Crowns chips. So. Um, I'm sure many people know that there is, there was going to be, there was a King's Crown a casino that was going to be opened in Vegas. Um, the year would have been 1966. Unfortunately, the King's Crown never actually got granted a casino license by the Gaming Commission. They had chips ordered, they had a property, they had tables, they had literally everything ready to go. They had basically everything on order, um, but the ne the place never got. I, uh, approved license, gaming license from the Nevada Gaming Commission. So, um, actually a little, little, uh, little excerpt that Andy Hughes tagged me in on Facebook. Um, the, the way it was at the King's Crown, it was supposed to have opened as a gaming establishment, but ownership of the King's Crown was never granted a license by the Nevada Gaming Commission. Um, the former, I guess, well, the building that the King's Crown would have taken over was actually the Tally Ho, which was a strip hotel. Um, it was going to be having a renovated and refurbished strip hotel known as the Tally Ho with gaming co equipment and supplies already on order. King's Crown got to the starting line but never left the gate. Um, and obviously the King's, King's Crown never opened in 1966, so the King's Crown would essentially become Milton Pearl's Aladdin, um, which would obviously then be the Aladdin of uh, Milton Pearl's Aladdin and then on to the Aladdin. Um, and if I understood it correctly, currently today's Planet Hollywood. So, yeah, so there are real, real and fake versions of these chips. And uh, I guess th that's kind of what I want to talk about. The, the, the main way to um, tell the difference, because it's pretty simple, but it's something that I'm sure most people have no idea about. Um, so, I have majority of my King's Crown's chips right here. I don't have... As many as some people do, but I do have a um, little bit. This is just a small little piece of it. Um, I think there's probably about, I want to say there's a whole sample set in a box in that little thing right there. It's a little box, but this is, uh, this is a, a good portion of my King's Crown stuff. So I want to talk about the uh, each denomination, which would probably be the easiest way to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. The ones, there are two main versions. So obviously, um, speaking about this, um, the, the one reason why there's different versions, um, since, or, or this is, I'm pretty sure this is from Chip Chat, um, in all likelihood, TRK got stiffed on the manufacturing cost of producing King's Crunch chips, thus all rights to use of uh, all rights to the use of the King chips designs would revert back to its creator, which was TRK. Um, who then used the design whenever a prospective chip customer, whether for movie props or home sets, wanted casino quality chips. So with that in mind, we have um, obviously multiple different versions of each denomination. There's, I guess we could say two main versions, and then there are quite a few, um, quite a few different other versions. But main thing, the this is like the original one. Um, might actually be a little bit easier to show pictures, but that is the original one dollar chip so just a standard kind of gray beige um, chip with a round inlay and um, the artwork or I guess the inlay design is going to be the same on all these so that's the original one and this is a remanufactured one with the edge spots so um, I believe on chip guide it says these are movie prop chips but they're almost fantasy chips in a way because they were never used they were ordered after the fact that the uh, the King's Crown was closed, so they were never actually used in a casino. Um, the interesting thing is there's plenty of used King's Crown chips, which is interesting to think um, because the place never opened. So that means, let's say when TRK was open in the 60s and 70s, that means there were they were probably selling these chips pretty regularly um, because they had all the rights. So um, it's it's an it's a very interesting story um these chips so 
Um, I don't know, I, I find it interesting, but there's some, some of the nicest designs, some of the nicest colors, or at least the original ones, um, that were kind of made. And then you have the King's Crown 5. This is a yellow with uh, blue tri-moons, scalloped inlay. One of my absolute favorite looking chips. So that's one version of the 5. Then you have this version of the 5, which was a, from my understanding, it's a group by custom kind of group by that was done probably in the 80s 90s early 2000s when TRK was doing group buys of course for personal sets so there's that that's one version um, then you have this version of the five which is a similar thing this was probably done the same time when they did that one with the edge spots that I showed you so these were probably Fantasy chips sold for the home market, this round inlay, which, and the other thing is, uh, I guess the, the, the easiest way, um, real chips have all shaped inlays, fantasy chips or the, the replica fake chips all have round inlays. Um, kind of the other interesting thing, TRK never made um, towards the, like the, the 90s and 2000s and late 80s when TRK wasn't doing as many um, casino orders. They totally phased out um, shaped inlays from my understanding and what I've talked with uh, multiple other TRK fanatics. They phased out shaped inlays um, for the home market um, from my understanding. And that's what I've kind of, I've gone back and forth and with these people and tried to figure it out. But it's, it's an interesting thing. It's kind of an easy way to actually figure out if chips are real or not. Then this is the, I guess we could say the secondary real King's Crown 5 with the shaped scalloped inlay. Um, this is the red 5. If it wants to focus. So that's the original 5 that's red. As you can see, compared to the last chip, it has a shaped inlay, so meaning it's real. Then we have actually three, or in my personal collection, I have three different versions of the 25s. Two of them are real, one is fake. Um, you have this turquoise 25 with the tri-moon. This one is real, shaped inlay, real chip. Um, like I said, the artwork across all these is all the same, but that's a real one. Then you have two different versions of green 25s. This is another real 25 with the shaped inlay. Come on, there we go. That's the real shaped inlay 25 that's green. And then we have the replica or fantasy green 25 that has a round inlay. And I'm sure you can tell by the, I guess the condition difference actually on these. Um, the middle is the real one. The top one is the remanufactured one and the bottom is the real the quote-unquote real 25 um, that was obviously never used then um, the hundred there are these two versions there's this one <clears throat> with this kind of cog wheel um, inlay this is a real king's crown hundred cog inlay uh, quarter pie there's also a hub uh, is it a hub? I think it's like a hub um, inlay. Same same color chip, same everything, but it's a hub inlay. Then you have this hundred dollar. This is the replica or fake hundred that was made for obviously the home sets or movie prop chips, whatever they want it to be used. But most of these, every single one of these hundreds that I've seen is all mint condition. Um, now the real King's Crown hundred also did come canceled at some points uh, as you can see there's a hole at the top of that one there were plenty of times or I mean plenty of chips that were canceled back in the day but um, pretty cool I like this this chip in particular I don't know it has the same colors as the El Morocco 5 which I really like which I actually have handy here El Morocco 5, the same exact colors, same exact quarter pie um, as the real King's Crown 100. So um, that is the difference on those. There are 
also the other denominations that were made all the way up to um, 5k I believe but there's obviously there's there's higher denominations there's fracs that were originally ordered um, although that most of the fracs that were ordered they all have a like an over stamp on them I believe they were 50 centers um, they could have been 25 centers um, but I'm not exactly sure because they have the over stamp the picture from chip chat shows a 25 center that's like a uh, light brown so it's kind of hard to say but most of the king's crown chips um, at least obviously all the ones with round inlays those are all remanufactured they're fantasy chips um, and most if not all of the hot stamped chips let's say ones that have five dollar ten dollar um hundred dollar 25 5 1 25 centers 50 centers there's a whole lot of different versions out there that probably haven't seen the internet um and i mean i've i've searched for hours and hours on pcf trying to search for some of the craziest trk sets um i've seen some pretty insane stuff as far as king's crown custom uh hot stamp sets that were ordered in the late 90s early 2000s right before uh trk closed and those guys whoever ordered those they had some incredible taste um, as far as designing chips and you know just color combos and edge spots and and um, base colors everything everything was done straight to the T and I'm sure most of those guys that ordered back then really really wish they could order more because um, in the last what two one one two years TRKs have gone crazy Paulsons have gone crazy. Every single chip in the world has gone crazy. And uh, like, if, if I had the opportunity to order more TRKs and even order a set for myself, because I never, I mean, I, I've heard all these stories about TRK. I never got to visit the store. I've heard all these stories about going there, people ordering chips straight from Dennis. Um, obviously, you didn't get these original TRK boxes that had the original address. Um, there was this address, the South Olive address, there was the Pico Boulevard address. TRK was... And that's exactly why TRK is like number one in my mind. So, that's kind of my little ramble. I wanted to talk to you guys about the real and fake uh, King's Crown TRKs, obviously. Um, so hopefully, if you guys didn't know the difference, now you do. And, uh, I don't know, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully you guys learned something. Like I said, there's my little King's Crown pile right there. There's a few more in my closet where all the other boxes are, but that's 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 uh, my little thing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video. If you guys learned anything, please drop a like. If you have any comments, put those down below. If there's anything I missed or if you just generally learned anything, please let me know. And uh, if you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. On the road to 2K. Think about it, 2K. We're almost there. We're halfway there. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.